In this video, we're gonna be going over how to turn off the Wi-Fi on your T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway. Now I've already made a video on this topic, but it was using an Android device. And if you'd like to view that, you can check it out here because in this video, we're gonna be doing it on a Windows PC at the request of a viewer. So without further ado, let's hop on over to the PC and I'll show you what you need to do. One important thing to note before we get started on this is that you wanna make sure that you have your Windows PC connected to your T-Mobile home internet gateway via ethernet. Now, this will probably work if you try to do it over Wi-Fi, but since you're gonna be turning off the Wi-Fi, if for whatever reason something goes wrong or you decide that you wanna turn it back on or whatever the case is, you're not gonna be able to do any of those things because you'll be then disconnected from the gateway. Now, I'm using a third-party router, so I have an Eero uh, mesh system in my house, and so I'm gonna be accessing the T-Mobile home internet gateway through that Eero system. So if you notice on my computer while we're doing this, if you see that I'm connected to Wi-Fi the entire time we're doing this, it's because I never lose that connection because the Wi-Fi connection that I'm using to connect to the gateway is through a router that I have connected via ethernet. But for anybody else, if you're trying to do this so that you can set up a third-party router or you just wanna turn the Wi-Fi off for whatever reason, it is best and strongly advised for you to do this using an ethernet cable. Okay, so on your Windows computer, you're gonna to wanna to go to this website that you see right here. And I'll post that down in the description to make it easy for everybody. Once we get here, uh, you're gonna see a bunch of files and there's gonna be a bunch of installation information and it tells you to download the zip file and then if you scroll down, it gives you even way more confusing stuff about having to do this whole thing with building binary files. And we're gonna cut all that out. We don't need to do any of that. So we're gonna scroll all the way back up to the top. And then as of the making of this video, the latest version is 1.61. So we're gonna click that. And this is gonna take us to all the actual files. And so the file that we wanna download for Windows is going to be this right here the .exe file. So all you need to do is click on that and then it'll download. And then from here, uh, I'm on Windows 11 and I'm using the Firefox web browser. Yours might be a little bit different, but if it asks you to save it in a certain place, you're gonna wanna go to that folder and then double click on the file to open it. Um, or I'm just gonna click it right here and I'm gonna click allow and it should open up. made me a liar. Okay, so I had to do it again. And then this is normal and it's because it's a .exe file. So if you see something like this, just click more info and then select run anyway. And then this is gonna start the installation process. And you'll see that uh, once this is installed, it's actually gonna be running within PowerShell. So you'll see a PowerShell window open that's blank. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, but then you'll see the app and it kind of looks like the GUI will look similar to, to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my browser just to keep things simple. And there we go. So this is the window I was talking about. So it's running this right now. We can just minimize this. We don't need that up. So right here, um, if you click advanced, it's just gonna ask you for the gateway IP address. If you changed it, the 12.1, that's what all T-Mobile home internet gateways use out of the box. So as long as you didn't change it, then you don't need to do anything there. And the same thing for the username. So we're gonna be using the administrator username and you wanna make sure that if you did change that during your setup process, that whatever you changed it to, you enter here instead of where it says admin. Now, important note, on the back of the gateway, you're gonna have two passwords. Um, so one's gonna be for Wi-Fi and one is going to be for your administrative uh, access. And we wanna make sure we're using the one that's for the administrative piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password 
for my admin account right now. And then I'm just gonna select login. And here you get a lot of the exact same information that you, you see if you were to do this on an Android device uh, within the app. So we have the ability to reboot, and then it gives you a bunch of other information about your bands and your signal and a bunch of other stuff. But for the purposes of this video, the only thing that we really care about is right here where it says Wi-Fi. So we're gonna select Wi-Fi. And then here you can see that I already have them turned off. And that is because I'm already using a third party router, which I previously discussed. And um, so I turned them off using the Nader Tater file that he published. So to show you that this works, you will see that this is the stock uh, SSID that came with my gateway. And currently, if we go down and look at my Wi-Fi, I am connected to one that is called Portal because that's just what my Eero was named. So you can see that in my Wi-Fi settings here, we do not have T-Mobile-90B1 listed anywhere in here because the radios are already off. But to show you that the app works, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on and I'm gonna click save. Again, you wanna make sure that you're doing this over ethernet. Um, I'm able to do this over Wi-Fi without any issues because I'm using that third party router that is connected to my gateway over ethernet. And so now if we come in here and we refresh There it is. So it just popped up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and if, so this is what it would look like uh, for most people that are wanting to use this app. So you just bought your router or whatever the case is and you wanna turn the bands off because they're on. This is what it's gonna look like when you click on the Wi-Fi tab. It's gonna show them both as on. So you would just select both of these to turn them off and click save. And then it's basically just gonna give you a warning that says, are you sure you wanna disable the Wi-Fi radios? And it tells you exactly what I already told you that you're not gonna be able to connect to it without a wired connection. You're gonna click yes, and it's gonna turn them off. And we will see this disappear once this is done. I'm just gonna click off and then click back on just to refresh this. Wi-Fi and it's gone. So you can see they're both off. The T-Mobile-90B1 SSID is no longer available in my networks. And it really doesn't get any easier than that. So you can see that both of the bands here are off and it's not listed anymore under my Wi-Fi networks. And there's really nothing else for us to do here. So this app does offer a lot more information and things that you can do with it, but just for the purposes of this video, and on a very basic level, what most people are gonna use this for is just to turn off the bands, which we just did here. And that's all I got for this one. If you guys wanna see this on Mac OS or iOS, if you have an iPhone, hit me up down in the comments and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But otherwise, I'm out. Peace.